America's Most Wanted is back. The manhunt begins again. America's Most Wanted is back now with a new host. It's with investigative reporter Elizabeth Vargas. But with the same old dedication to take down the bad guys, almost 1,200 fugitives on the run, no more. Busted by your tips to the groundbreaking crime show over its decades long run. We need your help to track down America's Most Wanted. This show can maybe jog some memories, seeing different profiles of different cases. And what's really satisfying is when we do get those tips and they do lead to the apprehension of a fugitive. Federal agents from the FBI and the U.S. Marshals answer your tips at a secret call center in a nondescript neighborhood east of L.A. We make sure that every piece of information is scrutinized and then we make sure it gets to the right agent in the right part of the country or the world. And as fugitives use high tech to conceal their whereabouts, America's Most Wanted is now using cutting edge technology of its own. All to bring justice. It's extraordinary. We have 3D avatars of these fugitives that we bring to life. Standing next to him. Always so lifelike. You can learn a lot because one of the first things, he's on the tall side. I stand next to them so you can see how tall or short they are. Avatars of fugitives, just one of the latest weapons used by America's Most Wanted, pumping new life into cases that have grown cold and are still unsolved. The rendering of the story, the recreation of what happened really does um, jog the memory and it gets us, no matter how many press releases we can do ourselves, that story and what America's Most Wanted brings to the table for us is vital. Fugitives beware. Fugitives put on notice America's Most Wanted is now gunning for them, all because of your tips that could crack the case. You've always wanted to be an armchair detective. Now here is your chance to bring justice to the victims' families by taking down a fugitive. For now, we are in East L.A. at Lascos, Fox 11 News.